Nadia from Texas. Hi. Morning, Joe. Good morning. Thank you for bringing up uh, about this funding from the Zika virus. We get updates a lot about this at the Children's Hospital where I work, and I wanted to speak on the uh, birth defects in children. I am a uh, developmental behavioral pediatrician, so I take care of kids who have developmental disabilities, and there are a number of viruses that can cause severe birth defects. Thankfully, many of them we have been able to uh, prevent or reduce or eradicate over the decades. It is crucial that Congress funds this bill because the birth defects that are created are lifelong. When um, they talk about microcephaly, what that means is the baby is born with a small head size, and that is because the brain stops growing. So once the virus attacks the fetus, the uh, brain and the nervous system of the baby stops growing. So that means you have a baby that can have uh, be born deaf, it can be born blind, it can have seizures that will be unable to control, and this baby will need care for the rest of its life. So this is not something that will go away. This is not something that can get better. The baby is going to need lots of therapies, physical therapy, speech therapy, occupational therapy. The baby is going to require school-based special education services, uh, will likely acquire, require a lot of equipment like a wheelchair, uh, maybe even a feeding tube, surgeries. So you're talking about lifelong care. And once the parents of the baby get too old to care for the baby, then you're almost talking about two sets of nursing home patients. Because not only will the parents require care in their old age, but if this baby lives on, which many babies do, well into adulthood, that child's going to require nursing home care as an adult. So if you can prevent that from happening, then that child can grow up and become a productive member of society, work and pay taxes versus having to be cared for by society for the rest of their lives. All right. See, I, I tell you, you never know who's listening to The Madison Show. And you know what? It took her less than two minutes to, to tell us.